Hello and welcome to all of you from the RBS Business Research Academy. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss a very important uh, topic that is about the unengaged or careless responses in SPSS. Uh, this is going to be a theoretical and uh, practical video. And the first one, uh, this is about the unengaged response theoretically and practically I will do uh, uh, after the discussing these things practically. My name is Dr. Rahindra Singh and from Islam Sabbath University, Pakistan. Dear viewers, when we are going to collect the response from the respondent through the questionnaire, now sometimes sometime we, we have to face a problem of unengaged response. Unengaged response, simply we can just, uh, define it as a constantly giving the same response. Uh, alternatively, we can also call it as a careless response. Now, this is the one question which is before our eyes. Now, see, in, in this one, these are the items and this is the construct. These are three constructs are there, and each construct different items are there. So, now, unengaged response is like this one. Now, here you can find out that uh, constantly the same response has been given by the respondent against all your items. Now, uh, if you face this type of the uh, type situation now it will create a problem for your uh, the validity of your results so that's why if that if any single entry is there so now you are required to not to uh, include in your quantity time analysis so that's why because again it will create a serious threat for your uh, results of your validity of your results of your speed data analysis so that's why always be careful about this one and always try to locate all these responses, either these are available, if these are available, then try to not to include in your response. And then again, uh, another uh, image for understanding, let us see now five, five, this unengaged, all these are the example of unengaged responses. Then how to locate these uh, unengaged responses? That means that when someone is taking your survey, but it's, he's not paying attention. So even that they the same person not paying attention, the result is always unengaged response. How to look at an unengaged response is very simple. You are required to write down uh, this formula in your Excel sheet. What you have to do is uh, copy all the data from your Excel sheet and then move this one and open your uh, Excel data sheet and paste the same data over there. And then just use this formula equal sign standard a division dot p is bracket start bracket over and then you can do it. Then uh, why we should take standard deviation? Why not other like the mean, median, and uh, mode? Why only standard deviation? The reason is that the standard deviation might the spread of the data distribution. Data it is going to measure how much the data is scattered. Uh, is, uh, and then how much data is away from the mean. So that is the spread is going to be measured by the standard deviation. That's why we are using the standard deviation, not the mean mode or median. The more spread out a data distribution, the greater is the standard deviation. So now it's simple that if the data is spread, uh, 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 data are spread more, the standard deviation will be very high. And the standard deviation is a special form of the average deviation from the mean. How much your uh, how much your data points are away from the mean, it is basically going to be measured by the standard deviation. Now see here, this image. Now standard deviation close to zero indicates there is no any uh, variation, there is no any uh, spread your data. It means all your data points are located exactly on the mean. This red line is going to be the show is, is, is going uh, is showing the mean. This is the mean of the data. Three data sets are before you: data set A, B, and C. Now, in the data set A, mean is fifteen point five. Almost the this red line will show the mean mean line. Standard deviation is three point three three. Now, it means higher the standard deviation, higher the spread. Now, here the standard deviation is higher. That's why you see the data points are. Uh, 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 somewhat away from the mean in the data point data B. Here, see the mean is the same mean is here, and now the standard deviation is 0.92, quite uh, lower than this one. Therefore, see 
data, almost all the data points are needed to mean. And then again, in the data C, data set C, you see this deviation is 4.25. This is much more significantly higher than these two data sets. And then see, this is the mean, and then how the data is away from the mean. So now, higher the spread of the data, higher the screening deviation, like this is the, and lower the uh, spread of the data, lower the screening deviation. But when you see the all data points are exactly on this regression, uh, uh, on this mean line, it means there is a zero standard deviation. Now, here is actually image. Now, in this one, these are the uh, standard deviation. These are the values of the standard deviation. Now, 1.21, it means somewhere there is a variation in your data. Say, now see, 5, 4, 5, 3, that so variation is there. And then see here, there is a zero. It means there is no variation. All the data points are same. From this line to this line, you see all the data points are same. So that's why its standard deviation is zero because there is no any variance. Because these set data, uh, uh, these are uh, respondents, they have given the same response. Therefore, its standard deviation is zero. So now this is a, a way to locate the uh, your data points. This is a way to locate uh, that the, where there is an unambiguous response. This zero shows an unambiguous response. This zero shows that means the uh, the respondent was careless while filling your question. Dear viewers, now we have moved to the SPC data sheet. Here the data is available. These are our variables and these are our respondents. Now we have to find out that the either uh, and engaged responses are uh, available in this data set or not. Now, one method through which you can find out these are the eyeballs. That means that by looking uh, each and every item, you can find out that this one. Now, it's, it's quite difficult sometimes if the data set are, uh, is a very large. For the 150 respondents are there, so it's quite large data and with the 19 variables. So it is very, sometimes it's very difficult to locate the and your unengaged response through your eye. For example, this point is I have looked at it, but almost others are very difficult sometimes. Now, how to solve the problem? It's very simple. Select the, uh, all the data and control and copy the data. And then now move to the Excel data sheet. Okay. Now here I have already pasted the data over here. Now simple uh, job is there. There's a write down here, uh, the formula like the equal, standard now when you write down quickly it will be now is this the standard uh, deviation p value if you double click it it will demand a range now how to give the range simply now select all these one and then it will automatically get a range and then close uh, this uh, line that means put the this one like if you like this one now it has been included and just press the button uh, press now and then go into box and check this one. Now select this one through the this plus sign and go down. Go down until your data set is not finished. Now here the data is finished and leave your cursor there. You'll find all the things. And then this one, these are showing some of the variability is available in your data set. And these zero says that there is no variability. All the this, these are unambiguous responses. The zero one engaged response and then in the two other unengaged responses are there. And in this way, you can go down, you will find some other unengaged responses are there. And in the one in method is a sorting. Through the sorting, you can find out uh, that now these are the unengaged responses. There is uh, almost uh, 13, 14 responses they have given uh, 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 to you unengaged response. Now, see if you in, uh, if you put this one into your uh, data uh, when you are going to analyze your data down these type of videos make the data series straightforward with uh, ability of your results so that's why be careful regarding the unengaged response and do calculate all those ones dear viewers now we have looked at all these things and we have also looked at the unengaged response again the simple solution of unengaged response is not to include that response in your uh, data analysis Thank you very much. I hope you like this video.
If you like this video, then please share this video with your friends. It's a maximum benefit can be given to all of our uh, to the uh, to different people. Thank you very much for watching this.